Hi guys, are you here with another bit for Blender? This one's gonna be another critique uh, sent to me by Krzysztof Podloszański. Don't try to pronounce his name, kids. It's only pronounceable by Poles and drunk people. I actually requested it. I saw it on our group on Hard Surface, uh, Blender Hard Surface on Facebook, a group that we run together with Josh. And, you know, I saw this piece, I was like, you know, that's pretty cool. So, you know, I, I messaged uh, Krzysztof and I said, you know, can I have a look at it? So he sent it to me. So, you know, cheers, mate. appreciate it because it's a, you know, it's a cool piece. And it's, you know, it's a difficult one to rip apart because it's uh, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. So let's talk about it, right? Quick one before we start, guys. These kind of critiques are normal on our Patreon. It's a tier two and three perk. So if you're interested in supporting us and... You would like to join our patreon link in the video description so check it out let's get on with it a few things that i want to mention okay now when you look at this piece for a long time you'll notice a few things right first of all you know being a photographer um i i notice lighting right so for me the focus okay light uh, of the light is in here which is not ideal because this is the main subject right this is just a leading path to that doorway so that's one right and we would need to redirect this light you know back onto the door and they can be done in many ways one of them is changing the angle of the uh, of the camera but we're going to talk about it later uh, then the uh, the image itself i like the coloring I like the composition. It's not, not, you know, it's not. It's actually pretty good. But um, I would leave probably a little bit less space in here. Maybe you know, maybe just cut this off, right? So it's a bit closer to the edge. You got more space in here, and if you put some text, because it literally asks for some text in here, right? You'll have more space, and I will show it to you right now. So if I'm going to uh, grab my um, crop tool and you know move this image somewhere here right and then simply uh grab a marquee tool and rebuild this bit here so it's kind of tucked in <clears throat> and also change the angle a bit now you see um i'm gonna re-angle this later it's gonna be a bit better but uh now you got a lot of space here you know for some text and still some breathing space between the text and the object and it just looks much cleaner you see so that's 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 one thing second thing is this structural thing okay um but before we're gonna go there let's talk about details so details are pretty cool uh but i think there may be too many mid-sized details on the floor. And instead of using mid-sized details, right, you could use uh, tertiary details, so, you know, really small ones. And this would um, fill in those, these gaps, you know, these gaps of nothingness, and create, like, clusters of, of detailing in areas. Because if you look at it for a really long time, you'll see that this part is really busy, yeah? It's just almost no space to rest, right? And... I think it would be managed a bit better if there was less stuff in here. Um, you add some tiny details to make, you know, like areas a bit more busier, specific areas, right? And then leave much more, you know, free space and kind of like a um, resting area for the eyes. Yeah? Like here, you know, this is a really good example, right? This is really well done. And it's asymmetrical, which is something I really like too. Then the last thing is the design. So the design has one major flaw and that's, the door has nowhere to go because if you go to blender right and you know we're gonna open this in a in a viewport you will see that this door you know clearly is supposed to slide right because you know it doesn't fold on its own it cannot go up it has to go to the side but uh, it cannot go to either side because the wall ends so you literally cannot open this door physically right there's no way for it to go anywhere i know it's a concept but uh, still you know uh, this wall should be um, this side, yeah, and this side should be done a bit differently, in my opinion. Um, but you know, that's that's about it. Other than that, I really like it. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty cool. So let's talk about angle, right? So if I go to um, to renders render settings, right, and we're going to enable um, the the background, right? So let's go to film. Where is it? 
Everything is open, I'm just gonna collapse it because it's confusing. I need her. Viewport, motion blur from there we go. Transparency, good. Now where is the light coming from? See the loud light coming comes from literally from the behind from behind of the model and that's why you get this reflection here, okay? This is the issue, right? You got reflection from there because that's what is you can't see the sun, but you can see the brightest spot on the sky is here, right? Meaning the sun sets somewhere there and the sun beams in here and bounces off and that's why this one is in darkness right now if i start rotating this right let's switch to eevee because it's gonna be faster okay if i start rotating this one right like this eventually the doorway is gonna be the main focal point right so let's go to cycles and now you need to you know angle it properly so it's not dull because at the moment the uh, the light falls almost directly into the door, meaning there's no um, really interesting shadows, right? But you could rotate this, you see. i just go to Eevee again. You could rotate this a little bit, you know, and angle it in a way that would be interesting. So maybe... Uh, maybe like this, and that's angled, right? So let's go to, to Cycles, and let's see. You see that's a bit better, right? So you got you got interest here, but also you got brightness in here, and you can uh, adjust this, you know, when you bring it to Photoshop. So if I, uh, you know, render it now, it would probably look a bit uh, better. Now let me see. The, uh, you don't need so many paths in here, mate. Um, it's way too much, right? Um, I think you should be fine with three on the fuse, but I'm gonna leave four. Um, I would go with 250 samples. I oh, added some coloring here, that's pretty cool. Also, I'm going to change the resolution because uh, it's a little bit steep 256, uh, 1080, and this should be the same, um, the same ratio, but actually cut a little bit but see the lighting now right the lighting is is you know very different it's actually going on to the door right instead of just on the floor it actually goes to the door and now when you bring this to photoshop you can actually brighten this part but we're going to talk about it in a sec so let's grab the camera right and let me show you something if i was um probably if i would be rendering this i would just go for a different angle okay so lock to view and now probably angle it a little bit like this, okay? It's gonna be a bit more difficult to deal with the background, okay? It will be, right? Because uh, you would need to, you know, extend it, right, like that. However, um, I think this will help you to shorten the floor visually because, it, you know, if you look from if you look from the top, the floor appears bigger. If you look from, from this angle, the doorway appears bigger and the doorway is actually the main subject so you're shortening visually the floor but you're actually elongating the gate if that's making any sense and it fills the frame much better because it's not squared but it's actually now rectangular you see what i mean it's 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 oblong instead of being squared this is squared yeah and this is oblong meaning it's much more relaxed in this sort of a vertical um vertical setting right and gives you a much more natural composition because you don't have to move it and sort of, um, you know, squ squ squash it um, against this edge here. And it simply it extends more this way, right? See what I mean? So just angling it differently, I think gonna have better results. So let's try this again. Also, you're losing a bit of a detail visually because you're not looking at them straight from, you know, a, almost um, in a 90 degrees angle, but you're looking at a very steep angle, so they kind of collapse on it because the 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 steeper the angle, the less the detail is going to be visible, right? So you're sort of um, taming down visually this basic floor, and you're redirecting attention back to the door. Okay, if that makes any sense, because door is actually quite elaborate, right? It's a lot of detail here. So you see, in my opinion, this is a much um, much better render because now if I bring this to Photoshop, right? Actually, really good toning in in uh, in 
in Blender. This is really actually pretty impressive um, tooling here. Um, must have taken a, a bit of fiddling. Uh, but let me, I usually do toning in, in Photoshop because I think it's easier. Okay, so let's bring it here and let's talk about it, right? So now if I'm gonna, for example, bring it to um, camera row, right? And grab a brush. Let me just make it a little bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing, actually. Right, so let me just grab a brush and you know add some clarity in here right see what i mean and pump some exposure maybe just a little bit okay it's a bit too much in here so probably what i would do is i'll just you know um create a new brush and maybe lower this and simply pump some exposure on this side and now my doorways is you know it's much more um there's much more interest on the doorway um, than in it in the floor. So if I go back to to Photoshop, it's maybe a bit too strong. So maybe we're gonna drop it. We can mix it, you know, with two layers, right? It's a little bit too crazy, but you know, just a little bit louder. You see what I mean? So now the attention definitely goes to the door immediately. In addition to all this, I think it would be actually cool if we rotate this camera a bit because if you look at this picture, right, it looks a bit as if this platform was kind of um you know crooked okay kind of angling down this way right so what i would do is probably close this go to blender and rotate my camera just a little bit i mean yeah so this way let me see this so the doorway is kind of more straight yeah I think it's gonna look a bit better so yeah that's good you see that's a little bit better so if i'm going to i uh, cannot save it yet but uh, just a few seconds i'm thinking that maybe the stairs is a little bit too close to the edge now in the bottom it's a bit too tight so probably gonna move it a little bit further just a little bit yeah something like this maybe a bit to the top like that to give it a bit more space you always wanted to give some footing to people or objects that uh, you know ground to see now it looks a bit better right a bit like less claustrophobic so kind of ground it uh, properly and now this is you know this is a i think it's a good this is a perfect framing in my opinion right there's enough space here and here you got tons of space in here for some text um this is really nice kind of framing here that looks balanced to me at the moment. And the lighting is good, you see, it's very flat. You got some highlights still on this floor here. And this door is way more visible. So if I'm going to save this now as uh, another TIFF, and we're gonna go to um, our Photoshop and bring this, the third TIFF in. I think it's gonna be a bit better. See, see what I mean, it's kinda collapsing down and this is much better right? so again um i'm not gonna be really editing this but like i said um not lens correction um the well, this doorway should be a bit brighter right so just grab a brush and you know just add a little bit of contrast and some clarity you know a little bit clarity you need to increase shadows when you add clarity otherwise you're gonna end up with with really a lot of contrast right you can spill a bit of clarity on the floor not too much right? just a little bit and uh you know bring it in and there you go see this tiny bit of a uh, highlight here it just makes a whole difference and brings all the attention here because clarity it's contrast uh, sharpness basically is contrast is the border between the, the sharper the border becomes between the white and black or dark and bright the sharper and the more contrast the image looks yeah <clears throat> So that's what it is. That's what clarity does, right? Um, so you see, if you compare this with this, right? Now you see what I mean, right? Okay. This is presenting the floor, 
whereas this is presenting the whole piece, right? And it's just uniform and balanced. And then you can just put some text in here and leave a bit of space here. So you got this breathing space, you know, around which you can, your eyes can just move. And you got this text and everything look, looks relaxed. So anyway, that's, that's, you know, that's what I would do. But, you know, it's a great job, man. Really clean modeling. Really nice. Attention to details. The lighting, I, I really like the lighting. The, you know, this lighting effect is really cool. And I know that you um, based this on a tutorial from Josh, the one that he posted on the um, uh, on the Sci-Fi Gate. So you see, just of this, like he he watched this one, right? And he decided to take his own, you know, this this what he've learned and just make it his own. And this is exactly how it should be done, you know. It's completely different, right? But the idea is similar, right? It's a floor. With a bit of with a bit of you know um, stairs or like a ramp and then um, you know just a doorway right so um, this is really cool um, and a very recommended way of studying where you take something that you know it's on the internet a reference right and you completely change it but at the same time you go with a similar theme. So this is how I always say that this is how it should be done. That you you look at references and then you close them down and you think how you want to make this idea that you've just seen with everything that you've learned your own. And this is a perfect example, right? So anyway, thanks so much for sending it, mate. Really good job. Keep up, keep it up. And um, well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, thank you for sending the work, Shustov. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, Leave us a like and sub if you if you did enjoy the video guys and as usual link to all the add-ons that I'm using and endorsing in the video description. So if you want to get hard ups, box cutter, decal machine, whatever, everything is in the video description. So go there and have a look. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.